Hi everyone, this is Daniel from SciTech. Today we're looking at the DigiAir Pro Terrestrial Meter. This is a very small, compact, easy to use terrestrial meter. It comes with a nice rubber case uh, to protect it. It comes with a 12 volt power plug as well as a car charger and a strap. Um, the screen is very easy to read and works quite well even on bright days. It's um, quite easy to read. This meter also meets the uh, specifications for the digital ready installer scheme so you can use this meter um, if you're quoting uh, the required signal meter um, so it is capable of measuring signal level, bit error rate or BER, and modulation error ratio or MER which is re a requirement by the digital ready uh, scheme. Let's have a closer look at uh, what this meter can actually do. So up the top we've got uh, channel number and frequency, so it's set to channel 6, 177.5 MHz. The D indicates it's digital. Uh, we can change this by pressing up and down on the uh, on the meter. So it toggles between, we've set here channel 8, 11, 12, 29, 32, whoops, 32 and channel 6. Um, so that's your channel list. Here is uh, the actual signal strength. Um, so at the moment we're indicating 80.6 dB microvolts, uh, there's no voltage to the antenna and it shows the signal has been attenuated. We can turn the attenuator off by pressing the OK button, um, but then it just shows that the signal is too high. So this happens when the signal is above about 80 dB microvolts, you may have to apply the attenuator. So you can do that just by pressing the OK button. Next you can press the mode button. Uh, and that'll take you from the signal strength to now signal to noise ratio, uh, your pre and post burr. And if you press the OK button, it'll bring up uh, your MER readings. Press mode again, and you've got your channel list with your signal strengths. So you've got 6, 8, 11, 12, 29, and 32, all indicating their signal strengths. And finally, you press mode, and it gives you a sample of the spectrum. Now one of the other things you're going to need to know is how to uh, adjust these channel numbers. So at the top here, we, as I say, we've set it for 6, 8, 11, 12, 29 and 32. Uh, you can change this by going into the menu, just press the menu button, scroll up to setup, scroll down to channel groups and it brings up this page here. So you see there's uh, like a grid type system um, going horizontally they call it a list so the first listing is 6, 8, 11, 12, 29 and 32 so you can put up to six uh, channels per list and up to five lists. So on our second list we've got 2, 7, 9, 10 and 28 which correspond to the anal analog channels here in Perth. Um, so to change any channel. Um, as you can see this one's flashing at the moment. Press mode to select it and it flashes a little bit quicker and now you can use the up and down keys to change to change the actual channel and press mode to save it. Uh, you can then use the up and down keys to select a different channel. Again press mode uh, and you can adjust those channels. And press OK to save. Finally, you can go into the menu, go to setup, and go to the stepping rules, and it tells you whether you can uh, use all channels, whether you want to use just list one, just list two, just list three, or all li lists from one to five. So if I go down and select channels one to five, uh, you'll remember earlier on we had uh, six, eight, 11, 12, 29, 32 on the first list, and the analog channels on the second list. So at the moment, uh, we're on page 1, if we press up we go to page 2, so now it shows channel 2, 7, 9, 10 and 12. Likewise if I go back to the start of the screen at the moment it says 6, if I scroll up and down I can now go to 6, 8, 11, 12, 29, 32 and now come in the analog channels 2, 7, 9, 10 and 28.